Ba-ding! Hey everyone, my name is Marcus Stewart and welcome to Retro Wednesdays, the show where every Wednesday I play an old ass game like this right here, which is Super Punch-Out, and I have a dandy old time doing so. And yes, Super Punch-Out, not your mama's Punch-Out, the Super version, which of course it came out on Super Nintendo in 1994. And as much of, of, of a fan as I am of the original Punch-Out, I played a lot of the original Punch-Out, never beat it, could never beat Mike Tyson because I'm trash. Um, I've actually have never played Super Punch Out until today, and I'm always amazed as to how that's happened. Like, I've even played the Weed Punch Out, which is actually pretty good. I've played that, and have never played this. So, we'll see how I do here. It's been a while since I played Punch Out anything, so you know, probably get destroyed. But we'll see if a uh, muscle memory comes back. So uh, we'll do my name in all caps, of course, because my name is always meant to be uh, screamed. And yeah, championship mode. Start with the minor circuit. So, so this is the first guy to let me win. I've lost so many times I forget how winning feels. <laughs> That's the saddest. Oh, so there's no. I was gonna say like it's start with Glass Joe, but no, it's Gabby J, a really sad-looking old man who has lost so many times. He wants me to throw the fight so he can feel it again. He's one in ninety-nine. Oh wow. He's from France. Oh, Glass Joe is from France too. Are they? Is this just, is this game just a giant just middle finger to France? All the crappy fighters come from there. Gabby J. Gabby J looks like William Hurt. All right. Okay. So you know, same thing. I've heard the music from this game more than I've played it because I already recognize the song. Okay, there we go. So, same thing. Kind of bob and weave side here. What does it say? Come on. Oh, what the? Okay. Let's see. So, yeah, you know. A lot of punch out is just, you know, reading patterns, studying signs of, like, your fighters, like, trying to predict when they're going to swing and when they're going to dodge. Like, subtle stuff, like, I mean, or it could be something as subtle as, like, a twitch of the nose or an eye or something as blatant as them dancing around and, you know, back up. Oh, okay, I was like, how do I... How do I back... Yeah, I'm backing off. So I'm gonna catch my breath. Got him, got him, gut punch. What the... How do you get his health back? He's trying to... Oh, wow. One, two, uh, three, fight. Look at how fast the counts are. So here we go. Warm his ribs up a bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was like, how do I punch high? It's the D-pad. So I'm playing this on the SNES Classic, by the way. In case you're wondering. So... How do I block? Just down? Okay, it's like I can dodge, but not a block. Kind of beat the hell out of French William Hurt. There we go. Stay down. Stay down. Give me that 1 in 100. I'm gonna be your 100th loss. Clash Joe's grandfather. Come on. Yeah, you come on. You come on. Doesn't really sound French, but maybe he maybe he relocated to France. Okay, he's getting close. He's getting there. So the original Punch Out, of course. If you were a kid in the '80s and in the early '90s, I feel like the game was like a staple. I feel like everyone has that grew up in that era touched the original NES Mike Tyson's Punch Out at some point. And because that was always like a, uh, a source of pride of like, how far did you get? Who did you beat? How did you beat him? And more importantly, did you ever beat Mike Tyson? And like I said before, I've never done it. I, I've i tried to replay it and, and do it again. Like the last time I tried to run through NES Punch-Out was 
probably like five years ago on I think it was Wii U. Was it Wii? Yeah, it was. It had to have been Wii U. And I got real far, um, but just couldn't pull it off. Oh, I'm better than Wario. And let's see, Hut, Jabba, apparently Gerard, Nancy, Peter, Caesar, and Don King, maybe. But I at least I have placed higher than Wario, which is all I've ever wanted in life. Next up, Bear Hugger. So I don't know any of the characters in this game either. Like, unless I don't know if there's any returning fighters from punch out one or if these are all new people but like i said like super punch out has always been such a blank spot in my like familiarity with this series and i was like i don't even know the fighters and no one ever i feel like no one ever really talks about this game like i feel like when punch out comes out it's either the nes one or people talking about the wii one and saying like hey that's better than you would think um but i don't know like do people like not like this game or was it fine but not as memorable I mean, so far, it just kind of plays like NES Punch-Out, which is good. But it looks infinitely better. <laughs> like, 16-bit. Okay. I gotta go for his face, clearly. Oh, what the? Okay, so he's trying to lure me to hit his gut, because he knows he's got a stomach of steel. Oh, shit. Okay. And I'm not Little Mac, either. I'm, like, this weird kind of, like, pissed-off, like, anime-looking boy. Aw, oh, shit. Bear hugger, get up there. Get up. Who is this kid, anyway? Like, who in the lore is this? This can't be Little Mac, right? He's blonde here. I, mean, I guess he could dye his hair, but... Or he went Super Saiyan, one of the two. Okay, so he, he lure you in. Okay, and then... Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah. I mean, I can't. He's back. He's backing up. I can't hit him. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm, like, terrified he's gonna do something with me. Okay, so it's only a... When he kind of, like, hits his belly, kind of leaves himself open. Oh, jeez, I thought I dodged that. I saw it coming. Okay, he's knocked me down twice. That's not good. I need to get a good... Sh Damn it, I hate that move does a lot of damage. Which I guess makes sense. He is kind of clapping his big bare hands over here. He's basically giving you, like, a concerto, but with his hands. Concerto. It's a wrestling reference, by the way. Concerto. Stay down. He looks like out-of-shape Zangief. He's got the same kind of chest hair. Like, if he retired from the, you know, the street fighting tournament. Took a few years off to reflect, let himself go. He's like Fat Thor in Endgame. And then he gets called back to combat, but decides to just focus on boxing. He's like, wrestling isn't doing it. Let me become a boxer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stay down. Oh, okay. He's got, like, no life, though. Yeah, you want me to go for your face? Dude, that same trick is going to work. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. There we go. TKO. All right. Good job, not little Mac, whoever you are. With the incredibly defined back muscles. My technical points seem pretty high, right? There we go. Nice! Alright, I beat Luigi! I would like to get hired in 7th place, though. But I'm still kind of getting used to the game again and punch out... Oh, Piston Hurricane. I thought it was Mike Tyson for a second. He's from Cuba. He's 25. He's 21 and 10. Can you ride out the storm or be caught in my hurricane rush? Because he's from Cuba, so, you know, hurricanes. As a flirty, and I can relate. Um, all right. I don't want to get caught in your hurricane rush. How come Mario is into ref anymore? I would love to see, like, Mario World Mario be the referee in this game. That would have been cool. But I like the music. And like I said, I've heard this track used in just other like YouTube videos or whatever before, but I I kept forgetting it was from Super Punch Out. Like I would figure it out and then forget about it because I, I don't think about this game. Oh oh wow oh wow oh wow what is that combo? What is that combo? <laughs> it was like I dodge but then he hits me. Was that the Hurricane Rush? He was kind of oh he caught me with that hook. Okay. Okay, he's a little dazed. Get some shots in. All right, back up. Get. Okay. 
Get him. Get him. So, punch out gameplay, regardless of the the entry, is always so satisfying, and I'm always amazed at how well it holds up. And I think the Wii version kind of proved that that formula holds up in modern times, which I don't think I can stress the Wii version enough in terms of how good it is. I've never finished it. Um, I would like to buy it and like play through that whole thing, but I've played it enough times to be like, this is actually really, really good. Um, and what the what? Oh, I got TKO'd. Oh, he got me with the hurricane rush. Was that is that kind of the Mike Tyson pose? So that the start from him, right? Don't you know when to give up? Never. Okay. You know, you gotta not get knocked down to get back up. You don't you don't lose until you stay down. It's like a cobra on the mat. Is this the Cobra Kai arena? What is this? Okay, get him. Okay, so you get like three hits on him before he recovers. He looks pretty dazed here though. Okay, those quick jabs. I can oh wow, he is oh wow, he is Okay, I was like he is eating those punches right now. Oh jeez, what's he doing? Okay. Okay, I dodged some of that. Okay, that must be the rush, because he's just going for it. Okay. It's like a body shot. Okay, he didn't catch me that final blow at least. Oh wait. How do I use my special though? I'm oh shit! Oh. I would say we're getting down to the wire there, but he got me. God damn it, that hook. Come on. Come on. Mm. So who's the who's the top guy in Super Punch Out? Because Mike Tyson isn't. You know, of course, Mike Tyson wasn't even... You know, they had to take him out of the original Punch-Out at some point and replace him with Mr. Dream because of licensing and contract and stuff. Which, Mr. Dream is still, like, the same AI as Mike Tyson, I believe, just a different character model. But... It, and, you know, I've, I, I played, you know, Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream, and, like, I feel like even if I beat that game, I would still feel like I didn't beat Mike Tyson, even though it's still Mike Tyson just with a different skin, but I want to beat Mike Tyson. So it would be, it would still be really satisfying to finally beat that game, but it would still, there would be like something of an asterisk in my mind. Even though I, the only way I could play Mike Tyson's Punch Out would, to, would be to play the original NES version on an NES. Or at least some sort of like Retron machine or whatever, and god damn you, Mr. Cuba. Alright, alright. He's really fast. I don't know when to give up. Piston Hurricane. Just like Piston Honda. But as a hurricane. Alright. Alright. Kinda okay, left jab. Missed. Let's go for some headshots there. Warm his ribs up, then go for the chin. So you get some shot. Oh, just what's he doing? I try not to get too jittery. Damn it. But then I'm I'm like too late sometimes. Uh oh. Uh, I'm trying to memorize this pattern. Can I inter. I was like, I don't even know if I can interrupt that with a punch. I think I just have to dodge it all. Yeah, I don't know how you. How do you dodge all that or block it? It's like he seems like. Unless you like memorize it perfectly weird. But it feels like as soon as you come out of a dodge, you get hit. It's like dodge, punch, dodge, punch. Like you're always going to take another a punch after a dodge, it feels like. I'm just going to tear his stupid haste up. Okay, got him there. Got him. Mm, shit. Shit. Mm, there we go. Oh, this is terrifying, which is what Punch Out always is. Like, and that's what makes it fun. Like, the fights are so intense. And they require so much, like, you know, observation and strategy. And, you know, I've heard. I've always loved reading, like, hearing the argument that Punch Out is a puzzle game more than anything. Because it's about, like, deciphering patterns when you really get down to it in the way you would a puzzle game. And wait, did I just. Oh, I scored, like, a lucky shot. It just drained most of his line. I don't know. I hit, like, his weak point. Hit him in the rip. Oh, like, a body shot. And it sent him. Just crippled him. I don't know. He might have appendicitis, and I just hit him right in the side. 
he's gonna this is gonna get close. I'm trying to before he I wanna beat him before he goes into like beast mode. Get him! Please stay down. Cause I have like Oh thank god. I not I punched him in the gut so hard he got knocked out. I was gonna say because I don't know if I can survive another round with the life that I have, but Yeah! Did it. Let's see how far we can go. I wanna see as many of these fighters as I can. I doubt I'll get to whoever the final boss is. But yeah, this game's, I mean, like, I guess I'm not surprised because it's Punch-Out and Punch-Out's fun. But again, why doesn't, why don't people talk about Super Punch-Out the way that uh, regular Punch-Out is talked about? Let me know if you're a fan of both games. Like, what do you think the reason is? Or maybe I'm just completely misreading it. Bald Bull, I, I've heard of him. He'll be coming down for the count with the one punch from my bull charge. He's got like a mountain for a head. He's from Turkey, he's age 36, and he's 34 and 19. I was like, plus this game looks way better, which I mean, that's kind of a given, because it's on a more powerful system, but I feel like you think, like, I guess maybe not having the Mike Tyson name attached to it initially, maybe that's why it didn't stand out immediately. I wonder if they ever tried to get Mike Tyson back for this, like, you know, or like another boxer, like, hey, Super Punch-Out is really a Vander Holyfield's Super Punch-Out. Like, I, I, I don't know much about, like, or really any about the backstory. Oh, shit. I saw that coming and I, was, I didn't back up in time. Good old ball bull. All right. Shit. All right. What's he doing? Oh, shit. shit. But yeah, like, did they ever try to, uh... Get another celebrity boxer to endorse this game when they're developing it. Okay. Joe Frazier Super Punch Out, because he was still big in the early 90s, right? <laughs> and what do you think the odds are that Nintendo will ever make another Punch Out? Because the Wii one was the last one, and that was 2009, I want to say. 2009, 2010? Pretty sure it was 09, though. But I, I'm kind of surprised they... Like, honestly, given the Switch and that fact that you hold the Joy-Cons and also that, you know, I guess... Now to think about it, I was like, why not just put it on Switch and use the two Joy-Cons? But then that's basically what ARMS is, so, like... I think I remember thinking that, too, when ARMS was first shown. Like, I was like, oh, is this, like, a Punch-Out successor? Like, a spiritual successor? And I guess, in a way, it kind of is, but, like... You know, arms is arms, but, like, I would love, like, just a straight-up new punch-out and just do the just do the same kind of control setup. Like, either do a sequel to the Wii one or whatever you want to do, but I, I, I'm kind of surprised we've never gotten a punch-out since then. I don't know how well the last one sold, like, at all. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe it's, like, a Metroid situation of, like, everyone loves that series, but it doesn't really sell super well for... You know, in spite of its popular rate. Yeah, okay, I was ready that time. Get him. Wait, oh, he, oh, we get it. I was like, how do you get me? All right. He's got me on the ropes here. Shit. Okay. He's really good at blocking his body. Ugh. Get up. Yeah. But maybe Nintendo is working on that. I mean, God knows what they're doing right now. They've been, they've had a very kind of quiet 2020 in terms of announcements. In fact, now that Paper Mario is at, I literally have no idea what they're doing the rest of the year in terms of their first party stuff. They had that little, that very brief indie game showcase where uh, Shin Megami 5 resurfaced finally after years of silence. But like, you know, we know stuff like Breath of the Wild 2 or like, Actually, just Breath of the Wild 2 in terms of the first party. Dodge. You know, and I guess Metroid Prime 4 too, but like, those those both seem like a year-ish away. I mean, Metroid, no idea. Metroid's probably further out than that because they have to restart development, but Breath of the Wild 2, unless there's a, a, sort of a big surprise, I was like, eh, it's probably 2021, I guess? But then, what does that mean for this year? Unless, again, Nintendo has a habit of just releasing and announcing stuff out of the blue. Like, Paper Mario was... That came out a month after it was announced. 
So maybe they are working on a new punch out right now. And they'll be like, hey, it's coming out next week. Surprise. It's punch out for Switch. Oh, I'm stunned for a second. Shit. Shit. It's not really. <sighs> ah! Bald bull. More like bald bullshit. And his dumb chant and his dumb knees together like he's doing, like he's got the bee's knees. Wait, what? Game over? Oh. Don't retire. Try again. Three lo- Oh. That's the end of the game. Three wins and four losses. I like this intro. So yeah, that's it. That is a uh, that is super punch out. I, I used up all my lives, I guess. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to look at here. I can continue. Can I continue straight from Bald Bull? Why did it give me a game over? So, oh no, I got to start with Gabby J. All right, so I guess that wraps up this episode of Retro Wednesdays. Then we're done here. We're not going to fight our way back to Bald Bull. So as I kick uh, Gabby J's ass one more time, uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out the other videos I got on my channel, like my Finishing the Fight series, where I'm playing the back half of the Halo games for the first time. Very much appreciate your support. And also, if you want to hit me up elsewhere, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Marcus Stewart 7 That's the number 7. You can also follow me on Twitch at Marcus Streams Games. I uh, stream Tuesday and Thursday nights. Uh, Tuesdays, I have a playthrough of Assassin's Creed Odyssey right now. And Thursdays, I've got a uh, like a viewer's choice going on right now where uh, I finished Prey last week. So starting this coming Thursday, tomorrow, I'm going to be playing one of three games chosen by you, the viewer. Uh, it is between either Journey to the Savage Planet... Maneater or the Trials of Mana remake. So if you would like to cast your vote, head over to my Twitter and I have a poll set up. It's pinned to my profile. So all I have to do is go to my my profile on Twitter and you'll see it right there. Stop cheering. And yeah, cast your vote on which one of those three games you'd like to see me play. Once again, Journey to the Savage Planet, Maneater, or Trials of Mana. Three 2020 games that I've been wanting to get to, and I'll be getting to one of them starting tomorrow. And finally, if you want to hit me up on my personal website, check out my written work. I am at MarcusWritesAboutGames.wordpress.com for all my written game reviews, primarily for Screen Rant, all hanging out there. And as Gabby J goes down, we will close this out. So thank you for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Hey, if you're a Sailor Moon fan or love anime in general, be sure to check out a podcast by Moonlight. It's the podcast where I and co-host Jack Gardner watch every episode of Sailor Moon for the first time ever. We give a play-by-play -play breakdown of each episode, discuss and debate theories for where the show is headed, and, most importantly, make a bunch of stupid jokes and idiotic observations for your listening pleasure. Every Wednesday, you can listen to a podcast by Moonlight on Spotify and Libsyn, as well as follow the official Twitter account at APB Moonlight to keep up with new content. Moon, prism, power, makeup, and subscribe.